perception of their child deviates considerably from reality. Here's an example. This is what the parent says. Stan, sweetie, please eat your broccoli. It's good for you. Yes, Mother, well, I don't care for the taste. I know you know what's best for me. But what the world sees can be quite different. Stop telling me what to do. I hate broccoli and I hate parents do see the problem, they might be helpless in controlling the situation. I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! What's a mother to do? That's why we at Stefford Academy teach more than academics. We teach behavior. Perfect behavior. I know what you're thinking. Sounds too good to be true. But it's true! Look at all these satisfied customers' testimonials. So act now to get your child the help they need. Call 1-800-555-1212. That's 1-800-555-1212. Operators are standing by. Oh my gosh, we, we totally have to, to do girls. that. I saw another commercial that says they even fix eyesight. Time. I'm so tired of buying glasses. Do you have any idea how many things I could have bought on Wish.com if I didn't have to buy glasses? <gasps> oh, I saw the most beautiful bed spread. It had flowers. It was just gorgeous. Oh, it'll go perfectly with the drapes. Okay, what's the number? Give me some pieces of paper I need to, and a pen. I need to write it down. who look like things. Wow. Do you think she can be helped? We have a 100% success rate. But she doesn't seem to be a bad kid. You don't know what might be lurking under that calm exterior. Jeffrey Dahmer seemed like a good guy. And there is her eyesight to take into question. No, well, you can fix that, right? Completely. No more glasses for you, young lady. I kind of like my glasses. Oh, <laughs> you're so pretty. You'd be prettier without the glasses. Say goodbye. In three weeks, I'll be a completely different girl. <laughs> Keith, get in here. Something needs your attention. What's wrong? I'll go take care of that. This is our new suit. Nice to meet you. I see you have glasses too. Not for long. The Stepford Academy is changing that all. So how do you like it here? Oh, this place is wonderful. I love it here. I'm so grateful for this new chance in life. I'll leave you two to get acquainted. <laughs> Let me tell you what it's really like here. It's creepy. How? I hear voices at night. Voices? Like voices in your head? Did they put you on medication? Ha! <laughs> no. The voices are outside. Funny, they really haven't been predicating me or anything. I pinned the two of me and the first thing they do with the problem kids is medicate us so we'll behave. I haven't even seen a therapist yet. Gosh, Juby. <laughs> I've never actually really been in trouble. Then why are you here? Well, to be honest, I just think my mom wants me to get out of the way. Okay. Am I gonna have to gag you again? I try to be quiet, but I'm so sad. Sad? How can you be sad? You're a robot. He's a prototype. There may be some bugs. A bug? You were hired to make a perfect prototype. What bugs? The artificial intelligence. Sometimes these bots can learn emotions. I've noticed that. He does seem to have empathy. I do, I do. I feel others feeling very deeply. Well, cut it out! 
so what were you saying about noises? Like, what kind of noises? It's really scary. I hear what sounds like a boy crying. I hear a girl too. Then I hear him talking to the directors of this place, and they sometimes sound mad at him. Well, so maybe he's just another client. There aren't really any other clients here besides us right now. This place is new. There was another girl, Chloe, but she graduated. I've been pretty lonely here, so I'm glad to see you here. But I should be going home soon. <laughs> oh, I mean, thank God you're still here. Chloe, what are you doing here? You graduated. Yeah, why come back if you graduated? I never left. But I, I saw you leave. I, I saw you go home with your parents. I don't know who they sent home, but it wasn't me. I've been living in the basement next to this guy who cries a lot. Mm -hmm. I managed to pick the lock to escape. I miss my parents. I miss my pet mouse. I want to go home. Chloe, what are you doing here? You get back to your room now. Wait, what's going on? I thought she had graduated. Her parents returned her. She turned back to her life of crime. Petty theft, picking locks. But that's not true. I never left. See, pathological liar. But Chloe says she never left. Like I said, pathological liar. That was disturbing. <laughs> there are a lot of disturbing things around here. If they don't give you meds or therapy, what do you do here? I mostly watch TV. All they do for me is take pictures of me and measure me. I had a whole body scan. Body scan? Like an MRI? More like something I saw about 3D printing. It was pretty weird. Yeah, I wonder what that's for. You gotta control your emotions. I can't, they're too strong. Look, I gave you the ability to feel emotions and I can take them away. She wants me to reprogram you, then you'll be just like the others. You wouldn't want that, would you? No, I want to be a real boy, just like Pinocchio. You promised you'd make me real! Well, Miss Allison isn't the Blue Fairy. And she would be very angry if she knew that I designed you with emotions. And plus, I just want to have a little brother. But that's not fair! You make me so I can feel like but storm myself in the closet just like a machinery. No compassion, no play, and no love! Look, after we started this business, I'll let you out. I, I promise. Just not right now. But what happens to the children? What children? The children you've replaced with robots. Um, we haven't figured that out yet. I hear a little Kermit just like me. Um, uh, never mind. I heard her, her name is Chloe. I've spoken to her. I hide her in my closet sometimes. Never mind, now stop talking about her or I'll short circuit you again. Gee, honey, are you feeling okay? I feel perfectly fine. You've only been home for a few days, and well, I must admit your behavior is perfect. But you just don't seem right. You haven't played with friends, and, and you've ignored Bosco. Bosco? Your mouse! This is Bosco? Are you joking? Now, I've been feeding him while you were gone, but remember, he's your responsibility. You have to clean his cage and feed him. Feed him? Yes, he's probably hungry now. Feed? Yes, feed! Why? Because he's your pet and you love him. I love him? Yes, you love him! Those noises you heard? I heard them last night. Whatever do you mean? The crying. It's so sad. Whoever it is, they're really hurting. I think I heard that Chloe girl too. You seem strange. I'm just happy. I'm going home today. Well, I'm happy for you. They're doing that body scan on me today, so I guess I'll be going home soon too. What scan? You know, the scan you told me about? They're doing it on me today. I don't know what you're talking about. 
All I know is that soon I will be going home to my loving parents. And I want to look my very best for them. But I shall miss this wonderful place. I thought you always said your parents were mean to you. Wonderful place? You hate it here. What is wrong with you? Look at me. Why did you do that? I just wanted you to look at me. You're just jealous. I have two parents and you have one. I no longer need glasses. I've reached perfection. Your, your hand! See what you've made me do? I thought you were my friend. Come along, Amy. Your parents are waiting for you. Kate, what are you doing? You're not allowed to be in this room. What's cooking? You know you're not allowed to cook in these rooms. No, it's her hand. She didn't even feel it. Great. Another thing to fix. You're getting scanned. Go put on your bathing suit and get in room 33. Hello? Is anybody here? Hello? Are you okay? I'm okay, but is she dead? She was never alive. She was a robot. You horrible piece of junk, I'm gonna deactivate you! Allison, get away from him! No, I'm gonna turn him into a can opener. He's defective! No, he's not. He's not as defective as you are. The idea of replacing children with robots is sick and evil. I don't want to do this anymore. We're going to get rich! Some things are more important than money. Like what? Like love, friendship, and family. All the things you stole from your clients. A cyborg who feels emotions? What a joke. No, Allison. The joke's on you. You're a robot, too. Don't be ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous to let you continue your evil plan. You're crazy! I'm real! What did you do this to me? I'm real! I'm, I'm real! Why did you betray me? I would have never done this to you! And I would never hurt this people who like you! I'm We gotta go save the others. Let's do it. Chloe, it's you! Then who's this? It's a robot! So what do you say, little brother? You wanna go lead a real life? You bet. Um, are you forgetting something? Amy, we gotta get you back to your parents. No, you don't. I'm pretty sure they'd much rather have the robot. Mind if I hang with you guys? I can hop by your cards. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs>